Hello friends, how are you today? So we're gonna be reading the book, Oh Say Can You Seed by Dr. Seuss. Um, I wanna say hi to all my friends. It's really nice to be able to keep on reading with you and doing my science and art activities. I'll even do some singing with you um, probably in a couple of days. I'll be doing some music videos as well so you can do some music time too. So let's start our book after we say hello to all our friends. Hola, Ariana. Hola, Ava. Hola, Logan. Hola, Declan. Hola, Dominic. Hola, Lincoln. Hola, Liam. Hola, Ezekiel. Hola, Sadie. Hola, Jordan. Hola, Cole. Hola, Brendan. And hola, Kylie. It's really nice to see you. So, oh say, can you seed? I'm the cat in the hat, and I think that you need to come take a look at this thing called a seed. From the giant gum tree to this very small weed, every flower plant started out as a seed. Plants are so useful to me and to you. Can you think of the ways I will name you a few? The paper for books and the clothes for your pants, the cloth for your pants, came from trees and from cotton. That's two kinds of plants. The grains and the fruit and the veggies you eat. Why, they come from plants too. And here's something neat. In deserts and woods and rainforests thick grow plants that can make you feel well when you're sick. Yes, plants serve as well and fill, fill so many needs and flowering plants all started as seeds. Just what is a seed? You are wondering maybe? Well, you we might say a seed is a tiny plant baby. The best way for you to see just what I mean is to take a close look at a seed called a bean. Like all seeds, a bean comes in three basic parts. Thing one and thing two, please bring on the charts. Part one is the first that I think you should know. It's the part that's the baby. It's called an embryo. To sprout, it needs food, like you and I do, which brings us to seed part numero two. It's called colliden, say, isn't that fun? This bean seed has two, but some others have one. Last comes the third part that you need to know. It's the coat which protects our cute bean embryo. Kind of like a jacket. To sprout a bean seed, keep it moist but not wet. Keep it covered with dirt and then see what you get. In seven or so days come the part that I love. A root spread below and a stem shoots above. Now in order to show a grown bean plant to you, we've traveled in time for some months, maybe two. And then, so this is the parts of the flower. You got the flower, the stem, the fruit, and the leaves. And this is called the shoot system right down here. And that's roots, the root system. And those are all the little tiny roots everywhere. Isn't that amazing? Thing two calls the part above ground the shoot system. Thing one calls the part underground the root system. To get a good look at the roots underground, it is better to make like a mole I have found. Roots are not pretty. They're twisty and hairy, and some roots look even a little bit scary. Roots anchor a plant and help it stand true. Roots suck up the water and minerals too. And roots keep the soil from just washing away. That's pretty important, now wouldn't you say? We've 
talked about roots. We have learned about them. Now it's, it is time we moved on to the stem. The stem is a pipe through which water shoots. It's absorbed from the soil and passed up through the roots. It shoots through the plants and next, as you'll see, the leaves each turn into a food factory. Just like the rhinos protected with horns, the stem of a rose is protected with thorns. Leaves come in all shapes and all sizes. I found some small and some spiky, some big and some round. You have narrow leaves, toothed edged leaves, wavy edges leaves, smooth edges, lobed edges, broad flat leaves. But the thing that all leaves have in common is this. They make their own food by photosynthesis. I'll say this quite loudly. I don't mean to be rude, but Plants are the only living things on earth that make their own food. To, the, to do this, plants need water, minerals, and sun. And that's why the day times when food making's done. For your information and also for fun, hop in my shrink upper and let's see how it's done. The leaf takes in CO2 through a stoma or pore. It works like a mouth and that's what it's for. Then the air gets mixed in with the water and the sun and that's how the food making factory is run. So the sunlight goes in and you got water. It's amazing, right friends? I see by my clock that now is the hour to drop in and say a hello to the flower. Plants breathe out a gas that we breathe in. The name of that oxygen, that gas is oxygen. So we need plants. Thing two has a chart. He will share it with you that shows that what the parts of a flower all do. In the pistillar ovules, there are unfertilized seeds. The stamen holds pollen, which an ovule needs. An unfertilized ovule will not ever grow, and pollen's the stuff that will fix that, you know. A flower's own pollen or another, okay, that's where the bees play a role, by the way. To make honeybees need to get nectar from flowers. They fly and they gather the sweet stuff for hours. The pollen sticks onto their bodies and legs. It falls off and sometimes it reaches the eggs. An ovule that's fertilized becomes a seed around its growth. It grows fruit upon which we feed. When we say the word fruit, do you know what that means? It means olives, nuts, grains, plantains, and tangerines. And apples and oranges and pineapples too. All kinds of plant foods that are healthy for you. Not all plants with seeds give us edible fruit. Some plants have seeds that look weird or look cute. Burn seeds are hitchhikers that ride on your clothes, and dandelion seeds sometimes fly up your nose. Achoo! Some seeds come in pods that explode like a sneeze. Other seeds may have wings and can fly on a breeze. But whether they stick or they blow or they fly, seeds bring us life and now you know why. I see the sun setting and here comes the moon. Your mother is calling, your dinner is soon. I hope you have learned from my little seed talk and now I will climb up. The giant being stuck. The end. I hope you enjoyed our book today, guys. Have a good one and I will see you again tomorrow.